Cancer, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, wherever Venus, wherever Cancer influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next week or so. And whenever you see this video, is a time that you're supposed to see the video. Like it doesn't come to you before it's time. But I do make a new video every single week. So do subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you really love it, share it on other platforms so we can uh, get the word around. But subscribe to the channel and click that notification button so that you know right when I upload the cancer video every single week because a new one comes out every single week. And there's always an extended if you want a more articulated, deeper and almost personal reading. That link is always in the description box below and in the comment section below. Let's let's get going. Cancerians, please do check out the Romantic Tarot um, because you're going to love your reading for this week. <laughs> I know you are. I know you are. Cancer, 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 Cancerian. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What surprises, universe? Oh, the universe really does have surprises for us. The universe has surprises for us this week. That's, I mean, that's all I, that's all I can say. Um, and when I mean surprises, I mean, no, you haven't dreamed this. And no, you haven't been worried about this. And no, you haven't sensed this coming. That's what I mean. All over the place. Okay. Crowning energy is bobcat energy. Life is a mystery. This is wearing a mask, pretending, or hiding behind something, or um, what? Yeah. Um, not being ready to completely and totally reveal. Something not being completely and totally ready to be revealed. The spirit has your back. Um, and then set healthy boundaries. All coming out together as a crowning energy. Really interesting and let me think on this. Honestly, I think we can feel something coming. We can feel something in the pipeline. We know it's there right? But we don't know what it is. Here is the message, Cancerians, that spirits got you. You don't have to worry about what it is. This is Capricornian energy, which is the opposite sign of ours. Um, things that are long-term, long-term benefits, long-term happiness, even karma coming back around. We may be putting up walls and setting boundaries and being extra defensive because of what we can feel coming in the pipeline. But there's really no reason for us to be protective. It's not, it's almost like we think it's bad, but it's not going to be bad. It's not something bad at all. And understand that this means that you're leveling up some sort of energy of improvement to your life or your life expanding in ways that maybe you aren't you are okay you are ready for it but I think mentally you're still living in the world that you've accepted as your world the world that you've accepted as your truth and that's not what your forever is that's not where your place is going to be there is something that's happening that's churning and turning and it's it's not yet ready to reveal itself you have the energy of two plus three which is five the energy of eight which is destiny and then the energy of three, which is divinity and balance. So what is coming for you is what is supposed to be. It, it, it's what is meant to be. And in some ways, I think, I always think this, you've helped to manifest it. But you're scared and you're worried and you're sad, maybe even a little bit melancholy. Because as things, as Cancerians, we always do this. 
as things are about to change, even though we know it's for the better, we almost idealize or romanticize what we have now. Even the things that we didn't even like that much suddenly start to become so much better, so much happier. Oh, I'll miss it so much when it's gone. But you won't. It's time to move on. Because where you were was really your pretend world. Where you were was just your mask. It's not your permanent position. It's not what you were meant to be. What you're meant to be, this is shamanic energy. This is like spirit speaking through you. This is a divine purpose. So where you're meant to be and where you're going is maybe what you've been manifesting and creating. But I don't know. I got this. I do have a feeling that you've, you've almost... There's almost a sense of you were about to give up on it or yeah, you were manifesting it, but did you ever really believe that it was going to happen? So I'm writing a book. I don't know if you guys know that. Um, and there's a line in that book that one of my characters say, and she says, cause she's very much based on me. And she says, you know, I would pray every single night to angels, etc., etc. And, um, her friend had said to her, um, her love interest had said to her, wait a second, you told me that you pray every night, but how? But now that you know and find out that these things are real, you're saying you can't believe it? He said, who were you praying to if you didn't believe that they were real? And it's that kind of almost separation of, I pray out of hope, I manifest out of hope, but do you actually really, truly, really, really believe that it's real? And that what you're talking to is real. And that what you're doing and what you're building is the next reality. And the, the reality that you're going to be living in. Do you understand it? Because in some ways, it's almost like there's a, a veil between you and the truth. And the truth is that you are manifesting everything that you desire. But in some ways, and it, it may not even end up looking like what you think it should look like just because there's so much between you and the truth of your manifestation the truth that it is real it's hard to deal with this energy it's hard to know which direction to go especially when we're afraid i'm getting a tremendous amount of fear and um almost like being dependent upon the concept that we always fail and it never works and I always get my expectations up. But what do you get your expectations up for? Do you get your expectations up for your fantasies or do you get your expectations up for what you've really manifested? Do you know what you've really manifested? Do you know where most of your energy and most of your consciousness has been placed? Because if it's into... Uh, because if you really looked at where, where, you, where you were really focusing the most on Cancerians, is it what I don't have? What I'm going to miss? What I long for? 10 to 1, yes, that's the case. And that's where we've manifested the most because we've put the most focus and attention. You know, your focus determines your reality. Right? Even though we've been working our butts off. And, and, and going like crazy, have we ever really believed that it could happen to us? Do we really see and, and know that that is where we belong? And just not insisting, like we'll argue with people to prove it, but, but it's not about an argument. It's just a reality. It's just the truth. In other words, feeling the calm inside of your heart, even when things are falling down around you, knowing that this is a temporary situation, not getting angry, not getting upset, not getting frustrated, or not staying in that, in that energy too long, realizing this is part of the process. I, I am who I say I am. I am who I manifest. I am who I think I am. So there's almost like the separation with us not understanding that, yes, we are truly manifesting a better life for ourselves. Um, lots of energy came out. Lots of energy. We have Buffalo Spirit. The abundant universe will provide. This is Taurus energy. And Taurus actually had a really interesting reading. You might want to go check that out. I can attach it above. But this is, this is a statement of you have the ground beneath your feet. You have a solid base. And there are going to be resources to meet your needs. 
Slow and steady wins the race. Tortoise energy. This is matured Cancerian energy, but it's in reverse. It's not, it's, it's like, it's like King of Cups energy, which is accepting your emotions, feeling comfortable with who you are. But unlike the King of Cups in reverse, this doesn't have, all this means is that things are speeding up and that those, those, uh, that abundance, and this is the energy of six plus two as well. It's eight. Eight is destiny. All this abundance is coming to you a lot quicker than you think. Now, this could be material abundance because you need it. Maybe you need it for security. Maybe you need it for happiness. Maybe maybe that's part of what you're manifesting. But it's, it's material resources as in resources in the 3D. Not just, you know, because we all need that spirit, those spirit guide messages, of course. But this is 3D resources coming to back you up. Um, maybe getting your family support or getting your family on board after you've been, after you've been, it's been strained and you've been robbed of it or feel like you've, like it's been lacking or having people believe you or having the money come in just when you need it. Even if it comes in in the 11th hour, it's almost like that's the test of the universe is, is believe that it's going to come in, even if it's not in yet, um, because it's on its way and the universe is going to provide one of the key core energies of your crowning energy is that spirit has your back even if you don't see it it's there um overcome any obstacle this is more taurus energy if you're dealing with a taurus then a taurus is about to come through for you big time they're about to show you what real friendship means because they're about to blast help you blast through obstacles or some earth sign in your life could be capricorn energy but this is that energy that helps to put all your ideas into practical structure, practice, scheduled, um, long-term plans and goals and, and routing your routing your mat, like routing your route. This is how we get there. But there's outside support. And it's also it's a support that believes that you can do this, that you're capable. It's proud of you. It's can it's it's um it, 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 it's proud of you. It loves you. It, it gives you accolades sort of like, you know, how the, how the rhinoceros is dressed in a wreath. It's like, it openly adores you. That's what this energy is. Somebody who stands by your side and will help you get through anything and everything. Central energy is the star card, the truth. The truth is coming out and you're at the in the spotlight. This is a spotlight card. Um, open to infinite possibilities. Oh my God. The doors are opening so wide for you, Cancerian. And the spotlight is about to shine on you. Um, so that means you're about to make a breakthrough into the public realm, public recognition, uh, getting the attention that you want uh, and maybe have kind of put away and placed to the side and and maybe stopped wishing that you deserve deep down inside the truth is you know that you deserve this attention but you've almost like intentionally second guessed yourself to buffer the disappointment of it not arriving well it's about to arrive um time to heal a situation and a circumstance is getting better it's also infused with a new sense of life a new sense of vitality a new sense of energy there is a healing process going on but it's more the healing of the past there's fives all over this reading. So a big change, a huge shift, even maybe deep down inside, getting ready to spring forward and leap forward. Um, also, this energy of whatever toxins were harming you, you're cleansing and getting them out of your body. You're ready to make the change now. If you have been having a trouble making a change, making a behavior pattern change, Changing what you eat, changing how much you drink, changing how much you exercise, um, changing how much you dedicate yourself to certain hours of the day doing certain things. If you have been having trouble and every time you just, maybe you keep it going for a week or so and then all of a sudden it fails, you're about to make a breakthrough. You're about to be able to succeed. You're about to be able to keep it going because you have this newfound sense of determination and passion and also what we need and this is i think was the missing piece for us you have support from somebody else you have another a, a supporter coming in who believes in you and is willing to invest in you and cancerians the reason why we always invest in somebody else is because we need a connection to somebody else that's that's who we are we make magic through the connection and 
lots of times we are that conduit for everybody else to succeed and it's our superpower it's what we love to do but then when it comes to us who supports us we're about to get that person nothing is wasted six three this is the energy of something coming to a head something coming to a head something being realized even if it was something that was uh, making us sick or harming us in some way it's about to be diagnosed and brought out to the surface um and in some ways there is a practical use for even those things that we're cleansing out of our life trash to treasure this is uh finding treasure in a trash heap um as well as being able to spot and understand how to use what we have right now to give us what we need to get us through day by day by day instead of looking for the the best case in the instead of looking for the ideal scenario we stop looking for that ideal scenario and our focus is we're opening our minds our, our minds are expanding so we can start to see oh look i have these different ingredients maybe i want to make cupcakes okay but I don't have the butter. So what can I make without butter? And then you're pulling things out and seeing what you actually do have and what you can make. And guess what? Without the butter, it's probably healthier for you. Just a scenario, but that's what I'm saying. It's like finding treasure in that trash heap and realizing that you actually have, have oh, click your heels, Dorothy, not to get to Oz, but to get back into the reality that you never realized was as beautiful as it is. But I do think it's this connection with this other person or um, supportive group or whatever you're in that's actually helping you to see things in a different way. And then we have co-create with spirit. You have spirit all over your reading. So this is definitely connecting and communing. If this has been a very spiritual and psychically connecting time for you, then the energy of Pisces is really working well on you to reconnect you with, with a spirit that never leaves you. And maybe that's who you're connecting with because it's the abundant universe provides. But I don't think it's just spirit. I think it's, it's spirit finally realizing, hey, this is cancer I'm dealing with. They need more than my voice coming through their heart. They actually need a hug. They actually need somebody to support them and believe in them. Duh, they've been telling me that their whole lives. That's what they do for everybody else. Now that's what I have to do for them. And I feel like spirit is finally turning around and going to be providing that resource that we've been lacking, which is that 3D support system, that, that fan club for us. Um eight more destiny it's 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 not that spirit has been trying to keep it from you it's that this it's everything is finally clicking into place synchronicities are aligning up um it's happening now because the moment is right for it to come in okay let's get into our grounding energy um no more than grounding energy turn knowledge into wisdom Six plus seven, 13, four. This is my moon card. So this, first of all, it's loyalty, but it's almost like hidden loyalty. Maybe resources or loyalty that you didn't know existed, but it's also something that's been kept hidden. Claim your independence. This is more energy of four, two fours right in a row. So something that grounds you, landing on your feet. And then love is in the air. <laughs> which is unexpected, Gemini energy, mercurial connectivity, connecting. Um, you have maybe been lonely too long or you have felt lonely too long. You have felt the sense of being separate or not being connected. That connectivity issue is about to be resolved. During Pisces season, something is going to be uncovered. The call will get through to you. The message will get through to you. You'll get through to somebody else. The connection will be made. Yes, you are independent, but independent is different than alone. And that's what's about to be healed, that aloneness. And then we have your, your uh, grounding energy which is giraffe, nine plus two is 11, awakening to the future, to being able to see out in front of you, to being able to have the strength and the grounding to be able to make plans into the future. Maybe you've never been able to do that before, but now you have the fortitude to do it. 
This is the energy of four plus nine, um, mimicking other people's words or getting criticism or critique, something coming from the top uh, overhead to um, basically discourage you or um, watch your words uh, or criticize you. No, I honestly feel like this is you. Maybe you've been like, I don't know about you guys. I'm talking to you straightforward. I've been having such issues with communication. I've been having so many problems talking and speaking. So it could very well be that you're going silent and just listening and hearing. In other words, we're on the receptive end. The grounding energy for us over the next few days is to receive to not do, to not put out, to watch how much we exert ourselves and to just allow, allow things to come because we could, through what we say, inadvertently push somebody away that we would want close because we're talking from our old position of what we accepted as a reality because we were condescending to, um, our disappointment right as opposed to now where we have these new opportunities coming in watch what you say this is more Taurus energy you don't want to push away your future and then last but not least Leo energy and this is feeling good about ourselves and maturing and having a beautiful future think of this as like the Sun card about or the strength card finding your courage to believe in the future is so bright, you don't even gotta wear shades. You know why? Because you're the sun itself. Let me flip the camera around so we can review the cards. Lots of messages, all coming out to reveal that there is a huge shift that's happening. And this time, Cancerians, it's happening outside of us because I feel like in, an, in a wonderful twist of events, the universe has realized, you know what? These guys need help. <laughs> they really, really do. They give help. They give themselves away. And then they don't really understand how to set those boundaries to um, keep themselves healthy. We often have those times, we, we know those issues. We know because we're Cancerians. We know that we always pretend like everything is okay and we, fake, we, we set fake boundaries that don't exist essentially. And this time, it's not even about our boundaries. It's about allowing somebody to come and help us out and not pushing them away. We do this all the time inadvertently we will push somebody away. We will push them away. And in doing so, push an opportunity away because when somebody wants to take care of us, it feels weird. <laughs> it feels foreign. Well, this time around, we're going to allow, we're going to be on the receiving end of communication. We're going to be on the receiving end of resources. We're going to be on the receiving end and we're just going to smile and say, thank you. Just say, thank you. That was one of the strongest lessons I'd ever been given in my whole life because I used to, every time somebody complimented me, um, I would say, Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, you're much prettier than I am. Or no, I'm so ugly. Are you kidding me? What are you talking about? Or something like, something like that. And a, a, a friend of mine looked at me and said, wait, what? She said, Michelle, just say thank you. Like, why are you pushing away what somebody so willingly wants to give you? Maybe because there's a little bit of arrogance in here, it doesn't add up to your ideal. Maybe it wasn't the right person that was saying it to you. Cut that crap out, Cancerians. Receive. Receive that beauty that is somebody else's energy that was made to replenish you. Um, let's dive, dive deeper. I'm going to go over to the extended. I hope you join me. That link is below and that will include your tarot reading as well. Really want to see and understand and see if I can unveil where this abundance is coming in. I'll see you guys over there.